So when you get to writing variables and working with Blueprint and code, you will soon find out that if you change the variable's name and code, it breaks your blueprints. So for example, so I've created a Blueprint accessible view property called refactor test old name. So if we can compile that, we can change the value, the default value in the Blueprint. And so you can see here we have this refactor test old name. Let's set that to a memorable number like 999. All right, let's say that we're refactoring in code and we want to change that name. So I've created this edit anywhere blueprint read write variable that's called refactor test old name. And I've compiled that and we can change the value of this refactor test old name to something unique like 999. Now say hypothetically you were in the code and you were refactoring things and you wanted to change it to this new name. What we could do is use Visual Assist to refactor the name. And I will give it a new name and I'll click rename. Now, sometimes Visual Assist can set up a redirector to help you with this, but in my case, it failed here. And so I've saved this and I'm going to compile. And what we'll find is in the blueprint, our value that was unique has been lost because of the variable name change. And so if I search for refactor test, it's back to one. So this could be really problematic when you have a lot of blueprint content and you're trying to do refactoring. You can protect your contents data by using redirectors to let the engine know that a variable has a new name. So the way you do that is you take your variable's name and you go to your default engine INI. And so if you're working with plugins, you might need to go to your plugins INI files, but there's a section called core redirects. If you don't see it, you add it. And what we want to do is a property redirect. So I'm going to copy this old one here. And then I'm going to go back to my file and get the new name. And so what I'm going to say is my new name is there and my old name is here. So what we have to do is make sure we use the proper class name. So that is property basics. So if I copy that and go here and I type property basics. Now note, redirectors do not like the prefixes. So we need to remove the, the A prefix for actor. So delete that A and now We've basically informed the engine that we had a property. Its old name was under the class property basics with the name refactor test old name. Its new name is just going to be refactor test new name. So the property basics dot is kind of implied for this later one. You don't have to type it. So if we save that, close the engine down, and then reboot it. Now, if we type refactor test, we can see our new name has our old value. So the redirector worked and telling our content to update the refactor test old name to refactor test new name. Now, if we don't save this and delete that redirector, the mapping will be lost. However, if we save it, now this asset should be updated and we no longer need the redirector. So let's relaunch without that redirector. And as you can see, refactor test new name still has our old value. Note that you can set up redirectors for things other than properties like classes and enums and functions and all kinds of stuff. And you can find that in the documentation online under the Unreal Engine, core redirects. So that is the basics of uProperties. I hope that helped someone. Stay tuned for more, and until next time.